Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making the highly requested chicken pouch. It made its first debut on my channel from my vlog a few months ago. Some notes before we start the tutorial. Please do not re-upload this video. If you'd like to share this video, please send the link to my YouTube videos instead. You may sell finished pieces using this pattern, but please credit me and link my YouTube channel in the description. Please use your own photos in the listing and no mass or factory production. It takes a lot of time and effort to produce free patterns and video tutorials for you guys, so I hope you can provide pattern credits. Without further ado, let's get started. Here are the materials you'll need. I'll be using 8-ply milk cotton yarn in white, red, yellow, and black. For the crochet hook, I'll be using 5mm for the main body and 4mm for the straps. You'll also need a tapestry needle and some scissors. Some optional materials include stitch markers and swivel hooks. This is if you want your bag straps to be detachable. The stitches in the pattern include chains, cross stitch single crochets, double crochets, and slip stitches. You can adjust the width of the bag depending on how many initial chains you do at the beginning. Make a slip knot using a 5mm hook in your white yarn, chain 26 or how wide you want your bag to be. For row 1, we'll be cross stitch single crocheting into each chain. During normal single crochets, you usually yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through too. For a cross stitch single crochet, you yarn under, then pull through, and then yarn over and pull through too. Cross stitch single crochet into the second chain. Continue doing this until the end of the row. Remember to yarn under. Do 3 single crochets into the last chain. Continue cross stitch single crocheting into the back of the foundation chain. I'm crocheting the tail as I go. Single crochet into the next 24 stitches. Do 3 single crochets into the last chain. We'll be working on a continuous round for this pattern, so grab a stitch marker and mark the beginning of your round. For rows 2 to 32, 
work one single crochet into each stitch. You should have 52 stitches by the end of each round. You can adjust how many rounds of single crochets you do, depending on how long you want your bag to be. For me, 32 rows resulted in a length of about 9.5 inches. For row 33, do one double crochet into each stitch. You should have 52 stitches. Do a slip stitch. If you're making a book pouch, this is a good time to measure if the book fits. Make sure to leave enough allowance at the top so that there's enough space for the drawstring closure. Once you're sure it fits, cut off the white yarn. Undo the slip stitch and the last double crochet. Double crochet using white yarn only halfway through. You should have two loops on your hook. Pull through a loop using the red yarn. Then do a slip stitch. For rows 34 to 36, chain 2. Do one double crochet into each stitch. Then, do a slip stitch. You should have 52 stitches at the end of the round. Once you reach the end of the round, finish off. I'll be using an invisible join. Undo the slip stitch and cut off your yarn.
Insert your crochet hook into the back of the first stitch. Then pull through. Then place the tail onto the front side and insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch we fastened off from. Then pull through. Leave off ends normally. Now we'll be making the drawstring for the bag. I'll be using a 4mm or G-sized hook. Make a slip knot. Chain 100. Then finish off. Using a tapestry needle or a crochet hook, weave the chains through the first round of red double crochets. Tie a knot to secure the ends. Now we'll be embroidering the details of the chicken's face. Embroider on the eyes with black yarn. I'm also embroidering on the beak with yellow yarn. Now that we have the face, let's make the chicken feet. I'll be using the same yellow yarn. 
For the feet, flip the pouch over. Insert your crochet hook one stitch beside the edge. For row 1, single crochet into the next 3 stitches. For row 2, chain 1. Do one single crochet into each stitch. Then chain 3. Starting on the second chain from the hook, do two single crochets. Slip stitch into the first single crochet of row 2. That's the first chicken toe. Repeat 2 times for the remaining chicken toes. Chain 3 Starting on the second chain from the hook, do 2 single crochets. Slip stitch into the second single crochet from row 2. Again, chain 3. Starting on the second chain from the hook, do two single crochets. Slip stitch into the third single crochet of row two. Finish off and weave off ends. Repeat the same pattern for the other chicken feet. This time, start from the 5th stitch from the edge. For row 1, single crochet into the next 3 stitches. For row 2, chain 1. Do 1 single crochet into each stitch. Then chain 3. Starting on the second chain from the hook, do 2 single crochets. Slip stitch into the first single crochet of row 2. Repeat 2 times for the remaining chicken toes. Finish off and weave off ends. Now let's make the chicken arms. Make a slip knot. Chain 4. Double crochet 8 times into the first chain. Thank you. 
then finish off. Leave a long tail for stitching. Make two of these and sew onto the chicken pouch. You can feel free to stop here. On the next part, I'll be showing you how to make the straps. For the strap, I initially made it out of half double crochets, but found the resulting strap a bit too stretchy. It wasn't able to hold the weight well when I put things inside the bag. So I decided to frog it and try another pattern. But before that, if you have access to swivel hooks, I highly recommend using a pair for the bag straps so you can make them detachable. I provided a few links in the description box. If you don't have any, feel free to leave it out and just sew on the straps. This pattern is adapted from the crochet cord tutorial posted by Craigie's Crochet. I'll try my best to explain it, but if it's still unclear, I've linked her tutorial in the description box below. Insert your crochet hook into the swivel hook loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop to make a single crochet. Do this two more times for a total of three stitches. Chain 1. Insert your hook into the middle of the single crochet stitch and pull through a loop. Do this one more time. There should be three loops on your hook. Pull through two loops. Then, pull through the remaining two loops. Again, insert your hook into the middle of the second single crochet stitch and pull through a loop. Do the same for the third stitch. There should be three loops. Pull through two loops. Then, pull through the remaining two loops. Repeat this until you get your desired strap length. Insert your hook into the middle of the second single crochet stitch and pull through a loop. Do the same for the third stitch. There should be three loops. Pull through two loops. Then pull through the remaining two loops. Once you get your desired length, grab your swivel hook and position it at the back of the strap. Do three single crochets including the swivel hook as you stitch. Then finish off. This produces a sturdier strap. Weave the ends in through the strap. And we're done! All that's left to do is to fasten the strap to the chicken pouch. You can make so many variations of the chicken pouch by switching up the color or the size. Don't forget to tag me if you make these. I'm String Beans on Instagram and now on TikTok too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like if you found this video helpful and subscribe if you'd like to see more from my channel. Until next time, bye!